welcome to an RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back in Soul Mask today, and we're going to be looking at the new building preview video. I haven't seen the video yet, but we're going to go and have a little watch of this video, and then we're going to go from there, and we'll talk about what's happening in the video and what's there, and if it, like if it looks any good or not. Uh, I have heard that the cryo chamber's in there. You can see down here in the item transmutation furnace and the chieftain's chair. I really want to check out what the throne is like because I've been waiting for a, like a throne for my palace uh, for a long time and at least it's going to add a few little bits to it so we're going to check this video out so let's get into it first of all i can see new metal walls here you see this see these metal walls they look different the metal stairs metal floors this is going to definitely look more tech pyramid here like it's really good Those cryo chambers look pretty nuts, to be honest. I love the way that the actual like blue lights are going through the actual thing, like it's powered, and the way that it's actually closed up until you go past it and it opens up in a kind of like a um, like a microscopic level. Like you've got nanites that are opening up. I love the look of that. This is giving me really big Stargate Atlantis vibes. Like Stargate vibes in general, like a lot of Stargate vibes are coming along from this, and I really love the aesthetic. Especially like I'm I'm looking forward to making some builds out of these uh, metal pieces for sure. That was weird as hell putting a memory set like a memory scene in there. That was, that was kind of cool though. On a, on a film leveling front, I kind of like that a little bit. That was that was cool. And it says store your extra tribesmen with their precious memories. So basically not their precious memories of dancing on the beach and doing some weird shit. But actually just, uh, I, I guess it's going to be saving their um, like their stats and everything like that inside of there. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm hoping that's what it is. Unless they're adding memories to the game, which would be kind of weird. But we'll see what, we'll see what they say. I love the way they're kind of in suspended animation now where they're, they're actually like not frozen. They're like in a kind of stasis. So they're floating around. It looks really cool. And it's going to help a lot with a lot of the running around in the base. If you've got a load of melee or like your attack NPCs, you can put them in the boxes until you need to use them. So they're not in the way of your crafters running around doing their thing. That one had the memory of fighting a saber tooth way better than I did. And they're saying on here, like, they can be forward again, uh, forward again at any time. So, like, uh, you can put them in and pull them out whenever you feel like you need to, which is, I think this is a great addition. Like, it really will help with the moving around of the base. It's really, really good. Did you see that fucking, what's that? Let's go back a little bit. What is that? Is that a power generator? That looks cool as hell. I, I want one. I don't even know what it is, but I want it. I will literally stick that on top of my damn pyramid just for it to look cool. Did you see that big ass chair? What is that giant throne? Why are they adding this stuff when it's like I'm almost finished the Soul Mars series and it's coming up to the end of it. At the end of September, they're adding all this cool stuff. Okay, they're transmutation furnaces. So this is probably going to be, like, I know I said it's uh, going to be something to do with the transmog, but I believe this is going to be like the bin system where you put in stuff that you don't need anymore and it brings resources back. Master the technology, I'm speaking while the game music is, the video music is really loud. Master the technology of the turning waste into treasure. So we're actually going to be anything that we don't need anymore. Like we have a load of stone buildings we don't need because we've got blackstone or metal, whatever this is. I think it's going to be like obsidian or something like that will probably be used in this because it kind of looks obsidian-y. But you'll be able to turn that back into, I just pressed play by accident, back into the, uh, the whole thing itself so that we can just get the resources back, which would be really nice. And that chieftain chair looks absolutely amazing. I'm loving the aesthetic of this new look. I'm loving it. It looks really good. I'm not too sure about the build itself because it's just a square box, but it'll kind of look cool. 
to have something like this as a section of your base. Like a, it could be really cool. It could look really good. And more new contents are on the way. There was a little bit of a translation error there, I guess, but we understand what it's saying. I really do love the look of that. And that's what we have for the reveal today. I really love the look of the aesthetic. I love the chieftain's chair. The transmutation thing looks amazing. It looks really good. Uh, I really do like the look of the, um, the cryo chambers, the way that they're floating in suspended animation. That's really, really cool. And I love the, even though they didn't even mention it, the metal buildings that they've got in the background or the obsidian style buildings. Maybe it's like an obsidian rock where it's glassy in nature. It looks really cool. I really love the look of that. Like if we go back here, like it just, it kind of looks like a glassy element, maybe some sort of stone or if it's like a living metal, maybe because these things are kind of living. They're nanites, I guess. And these jet, these look like generators. You could build one of these in your base and make it out to be a generator, which is kind of what they've done here. I really like the look of it. I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on this sooner rather than later because I want to do a build with all of this before the end of the Soul Mask series. So hopefully this gets done really quickly. And that's all we have for the showcase today. Let me know down below what you think about all these lovely new items and all these new aesthetics. Like I'm like even after all the stuff that's been happening recently with all the problems and stuff, I'm really loving the look of some of these stuff that they're adding to it. They are working on making the game better and this will help out with the AI pathing more than you will know. Let me know down below what you think. Remember to like and subscribe for all your survival, give it goodness, fly safe. And avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up!